Okay, today we're looking at a cool experimental feature that's in some of the later builds of Chrome and it will really help you if you're looking to do some responsive design testing, uh, responsive development, that kind of thing. So if we go to one of our one of our websites here, I'm just rendering as per normal in Chrome. If we now launch um, the uh, developer tools, what you'll see should be fairly familiar to you. You've got all of your, your normal stuff around the screen here, but at the bottom you've got these tabs, and one of those tabs there is emulation. If you click on emulation, you can see in here a list of various devices. There's uh, iOS devices, Android devices, all kinds of different things there. And selecting one of those will give you some bits of information, viewport sizes, ratios, the user agent strings, that kind of thing. And you can pick one of those, hit emulate, and what that will do is then attempt to render the site you're looking at as if it were that device. So what happens now obviously the viewport gets scaled, the user agent that gets sent is changed and things like hover events no longer work and your cursor is replaced by this little dot here which becomes effectively your finger. Um, now if your responsive side is working then hopefully uh, what you should see is the mobile or the small screen version of your site doing what it's supposed to do. And it's quite handy for just going to uh, various sites you may be working on and uh, obviously here we have a, a normal large screen version of the site. If I switch that over maybe I want to look at this in a, a Nexus 5, click emulate. Quite often you need to refresh the page just so that the right user agent gets sent and so the browser can render it properly if you've got media queries and things like that within your style sheets. Um, so again, here we go, we've got now a mobile site and you can click and drag as if you were using your finger. You've still got the scroll wheel, which obviously just to make life a little bit easier for you. And again, hopefully then what will happen is all of your mobile or small screen specific features will start to come into play and it should work fairly well. Now I'm running a, a, a version of Linux here, this is uh, Linux Mint. One thing I did have to do to get it to work in the flags configuration of, uh, of Chrome was just um, override the software rendering list up here other platforms you may not need to do that. Uh, in order to get this to work I actually had to, to activate that. Uh, all I was getting was an error in the developer tool saying that screen emulation was not available. So there we go. Really really handy useful tool for testing and developing responsive and mobile sites.